What's going on YouTube? JB here. Today we're going to be taking a little trip to the battlefield of Raymond and talking a little bit of that, about that and exploring a little Mississippi history. We'll get to it right after this. As part of the Battle of the Siege of Vicksburg, Grant wanted to isolate it from the supply lines and communication lines out of Jackson. He had actually set his sights on capturing Jackson. Grant spread his forces out, and he put Major General James B. McPherson on the far right just to try to secure 14 Mile Creek to try to be able to get wa have water for both his men and the uh, animals that traveled with them. Brigadier General John Gregg was dispatched to intercept McPherson's group. Believing they only had a small group to contend with, they only took about 3,000 men. Their intention was to hold them with a small force and then have another group come in and flank from the side. But because of bad intelligence, instead of a small group, they ended up facing about 10,000 men of McPherson's. We'll talk a little bit more about the actual battle whenever we get to the battlefield, which is where we're finna head now. All right, we made it over here to the actual battlefield. Uh, it's it right behind me, or that's part of it. Uh, we're going, there's a trail that goes around the field and into the woods back there and the creek, 14 mile creek should be directly behind me. The way the battle went down, on May 12th, 1863, about 10 a.m., Confederate soldiers opened fire on Union infantry as they entered the valley of 14 mile creek. Brigadier General John Gregg had another regiment that attacked the Union from the side. They had crossed the creek at a different point. The Union line was about to break. Union Major General John Logan charged forward into the fray. He was able to inspire the Union troops and get them back into their place and to start pushing back. By noon, Union forces had received reinforcements and they both extended both to the left and right of the major battle. By around 1.30, Confederate General Gregg found himself against overwhelming odds. He ended up retreating back to uh, Jackson and the battle was over. Let me show y'all one of my favorite parts of Raymond while we're up here. They have replicas of the cannons, of course, and they have an entire uh, artillery line set up. I'll try to get a better view of it once we get back to where NOLA is. When it was all said and done, there was about 961 casualties total for this battle. 515 Confederate soldiers lost their lives and 446 uh, Union soldiers. I hope y'all have enjoyed this little trip through history. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, be safe.